Women's Auxiliary Air Force was formed in June 1939. Women took on a range of different roles within the WAAF, from kitchen orderlies and drivers to mechanics and engineers, in order to release men for frontline duties. The trickiest job for the WAAF was the operation of balloon sites. This involved the raising and lowering of the barrage balloons, which would deter enemy bombers. There were doubters who believed that women wouldn't have the physical strength or stamina to handle the balloons, which were 66 feet long and 30 feet high once inflated. Despite this, the balloon site operations were extremely successful, and eventually women ran more than a thousand barrage balloon sites throughout Britain. Established shortly before the Second World War, the WAAF was a reaction to a potential war in Europe. Conscription was introduced from December 1941, and by July 1943, 182,000 women were part of the WAAF ranks. The one job women couldn't do in the WAAF was fly. However, the necessity for more pilots led to the formation of the Air Transport Auxiliary. The ATA ferried new, repaired and damaged military aircraft between factories, assembly plants and even active service squadrons and airfields. The ATA allowed women pilots to ferry the aircraft. The female pilots were nicknamed Attergirls, and over the war there were 166 women pilots, one in eight of all ATA pilots. One of the most notable features of the ATA was that women received the same pay as men of equal rank, starting in 1943. This was the first time that the British government had agreed to equal pay for equal work within an organisation under its control. Over a quarter of a million women served in the Women's Auxiliary Air Force, 183,317 were volunteers, with 33,932 women conscripted. The majority were aged between 18 and 40. The contribution made by the WAAF to the war effort cannot be overstated and it is a testament to the courage, determination and resilience of the women who served.